I'm Matt Smith, right now on Upfront. Milwaukee's sister city in Ukraine, Erpine in ruins, the mayor surviving multiple assassination attempts. He is here standing by in Ukraine with his urgent plea for help. A seismic Supreme Court leak. Right now, the U.S. Senate preparing for a vote in just days. Will abortion soon be illegal in Wisconsin? The debate from our nation's capital to state capital. The new analysis and the wide-ranging impacts across Wisconsin. Taking on the issues important to Wisconsin. This is Upfront with your host, Adrian Pedersen. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Happy Mother's Day. I'm Matt Smith. We begin with high stakes this weekend. Russia's deadly assault on Ukraine intensifying at this hour in several Ukrainian cities. In Erpin, Milwaukee's sister city, just outside the capital of Kyiv, the city in ruins is now rebuilding. And Erpin's mayor today is here to tell his story. Good Erpin Mayor Alexander Markushin on the front lines. The mayor surviving multiple assassination attempts, Russian forces destroying his city. It's like no houses which were not bombed. The mayor now joining us from Erpin, alongside Boris Nayflish in Milwaukee, a liaison to our sister city and our interpreter. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. We so appreciate your time. As we sit here, how are you and how is your city doing? No. Uh, as of today, we're restoring critical infrastructure, communication lines. After the immediately after the um, active uh, side of the conflict, the city was uninhabitable. We had no critical infrastructure, no water, no gas, no electricity, no communications. So we're working right now, uh, day and night, to restore that critical infrastructure. Uh, as of today, we restore a transportation route from Kiev to European. There is a bus that uh, shuttling people uh, between capital and European. We also restore um, a supermarket for food. It's open today as well. Uh, we're also working on restoring the communications. In recent weeks, Ukrainian forces retook their city after a long and deadly battle, liberating Erpin, but also protecting a key access point to the capital city, Kyiv, and at great cost. If the battle for Erpin was lost, the high probability that Kyiv would be lost today. Mayor, are you fearful that Russian forces will return to your city for a potential second invasion? Historically, saying from historical facts, Russians um, um, always come back. If they didn't take something in the first try, they will try to retake it second time. That's a historical observation. They are European getting ready, they developing defense lines, additional defense lines around the city, and uh, they, they're sure that if they come, they will be ready to defend the city even better than the first time. Mayor, we've seen the pictures of the damage and destruction. Can you describe for me from your perspective firsthand what your city looks like, what neighborhoods look like today? European infrastructure and private sector uh, buildings destroyed 50 percent. Well, after the survey, we found it's about 50 percent of all buildings destroyed beyond the repair. The, the critical infrastructure that we're looking to restore right now, besides the water, gas, communication, electricity, it's also schools, uh, it's kindergartens, it's uh, hospitals. That's the first uh, line, that's the first item on our list. We, obviously, without the help um, from our partners, from the whole Europe, from the United States. We won't be able to do so as the European don't have a budget uh, to restore and revive the city. Mayor, did you stay in the city the entire time and how did you survive? Uh, well, the mayor was stayed from day one to the end, to the uh, liberation day uh, on the city grounds. He um, actively uh, participated in the military unit that was fighting at that time. Um, at least three times, Russian special operation forces made an attempt to kill, specifically, they target the mayor. They failed, obviously, we're talking to him, he's alive. Um, they send him SMS, threatening his life and his family. They send him open message to join, to collaborate. 
he openly refused, he put it on the social media, he said we will not re collaborate with occupied force. Uh, as far as the safety, um, he was not thinking about the safety at that time. He was, uh, it, it was not safe anywhere in European. European was shelled a rocket, under the rocket fire, so the safety was not the first priority at, at, for him at the, um, at the time of the fighting. Mayor, what do you need right now from the West and the United States? First of, first of all, we need temporary housing, mobile homes. Uh, we have thousands and thousands of city residents that have no place to live. Uh, they're living in, the, in, in tents and it's not the right way, and they, it's not long-term solution. So we're looking for help with from our partners to supply temporary housing and mobile homes that can be quickly assembled. Mayor, people here in your sister city of Milwaukee in the state of Wisconsin are watching these developments closely. How can people here in Wisconsin and, and in Milwaukee help today? Uh, first of all, we really appreciate the support and we really honored to be a city, a sister city with Milwaukee. We really honored uh, to see the support that Milwaukeeans and the whole United States um, doing for Ukraine and European. Right now, uh, there is a there is a hospital in Ukraine that um, almost opened before the war started, and now it's leveled, and we eagerly restoring the hospital. Um, we're looking for the, the direct help that the uh, mayor suggesting between Milwaukee and Irpin is to help you with equipment for that hospital, uh, equipment that will save lives of Irpinians, of the citizens of Irpin. That would be very symbolic if the citizens of Milwaukee and Wisconsin can provide that equipment or funds to buy that equipment for the hospital. And with that, a message of gratitude. And uh, he personally want to thank the mayor of Milwaukee, Mayor Johnson. They met, they talked, uh, mayor uh, offered his sympathy. Mayor, mayor of Irpin, um, Alexander, invited him to visit. Hopefully we'll rebuild the city. That's what mayor said. We'll hopefully we'll rebuild the city very soon. And he welcomed all Milwaukee, uh, all citizens of Milwaukee, all citizens of Wisconsin to come and visit uh, that beautiful place. Mayor, we so appreciate your time and, and your perspective. And we too hope we can see you in person and see your beautiful city rebuilt sometime soon. Thank you so much. We've posted ways that you can help right now on WISN.com slash upfront. Coming up, that Supreme Court leak, the implications in Wisconsin, and the Senate vote now just days away.